All right, now Good Lock is an incredible application available on Samsung Galaxy phones, which gives you more control over the phone, which adds more functionalities, more customization features. And this powerful and incredible application has always been available in a very few countries, but now things have changed. During the One UI 7 launch, Samsung did promise that the Good Lock application will be made available globally, and they have finally done that. Now you don't really have to depend on the APKs, the nice lock or the fine lock applications, you have got good lock officially available in your country provided your device supports good lock. Now good lock is not available for all Samsung Galaxy phones. Devices with core one UI will not have good lock in any country. But if your model is supported, then good lock is now available across the globe. And the best part is you can now download it on Google's Play Store itself. And just downloading an application will not help you in any way. You need to know which are the modules which will be really useful for you in day-to-day -day life, which one should you be using, and that is exactly what I'm gonna talk about in today's video. But before we go ahead, if you're new on the channel, be sure to subscribe, give this video a like, and do not forget to download our wallpaper application, Volvers. The link is in the description. There are some fantastic wallpapers available, both free and premium, and I keep adding more and more wallpapers every day. So go ahead, download it. If you want to get rid of the ads on the app, go for a premium version. I would really appreciate that. Now let's dive into this video and check out all those important good luck features that you should know. When you download the all new Goodlock application, you will see three options at the bottom. Terrace, where Goodlock team will keep you updated about everything that is happening with the modules, the progress, the issues, the bugs, etc. And then we have got U section, where you can set your favorite applications and you'll also be able to see the settings which are in effect. You can enable or disable it right here. And now we have got a Goodlock folder widget as well, which will give you a direct access to all the modules. You don't really have to open Goodlock application and then access all these modules. As you can see, we have got all of them right here in the folder and then comes the plugins those are the plugins which we will be downloading you can go ahead and download all of them we have got theme park fantastic wonderland lockstar keys cafe and AV star which is navstar home up clock face quick star edge lighting plus nice shot naughty star edge touch nice catch one hand operation plus Routines Plus, Multi-Star, Camera Assistant, Registrar, and Sound Assistant. There are a couple of more modules which may or may not be available in your region. Like I do not have the all new Game Booster Plus. I think that is currently available in Korea only. And I don't have the Display Assistant. Some of you guys might have already got Display Assistant in your region, which is in the beta right now. Anyways, now let's go ahead. The first module you need to check out is Registrar. Now what this Registrar lets you do is, you'll be able to customize your settings menu. Let's go to the settings now. As you can see, this is the settings that we get and we have got too many options here. And you may not want to have this clutter on the settings menu. You may want to get rid of some of those options. For that, what you can do is on Registrar, tap on customize your uh, home. And here, menu order and group settings. Tap on that. As you can see, you can select the settings that you want and you can deselect the ones that you don't want. And you can also move these settings. You can just press and hold on this arrow. Like let's say I want notification to be moved to the top. I can just move it to the top here. And I want to get rid of uh, sign in your Galaxy option here. I'll get rid of this. And then let's say I want display option to be on the top. I can put it on the top. Uh, and uh, Galaxy AI on the top. And let's say connections here and uh, wallpaper and style right here. Now this is how you can customize it. Tap on save and now you can see when I go to the settings, it is completely customized. I've got notifications, display, Galaxy AI, connections, wallpaper and style and I don't have my account settings right here. So that is how you can customize your settings menu using Registrar. The next powerful feature this adds is back tap action. Let me tap on this and enable this. Now we have got two options, double tap triple tap. When I select double tap, I can set, take a screenshot, access your uh, Google voice assistant, start pop-up view, show notifications, show recent applications, back button, open application. You can set a uh, double tap to open a specific app. Just tap on the settings, select any app that you want and uh, you're done. You can double tap on the back of the phone to execute that action. And likewise, we have got triple tap as well using which we'll be able to uh, execute an action by triple tapping on the back of the phone. So that is register for you guys. The next important module you need to download is One Hand Operation Plus. What this module does is, it enables you to control your phone easily with just one hand. 
you'll be able to execute some functions by using the swipe gestures. Let's say we've got left handle and right handle, select left handle, left handle right, straight right, diagonal up and diagonal down. For each of these swipes, you get to select a specific function and we have got a huge list of function here. You'll be able to select the one you want. Now let's say for diagonal down, I will select a specific function. I scroll all the way down. I've got quick tools here. I will select this. Now when I swipe diagonally down from the left edge of the screen, you can see the quick tools are open. Now this is how we can set a specific function and we have got tons of them right here and we can set it to three different uh, swipe gestures and we can also set it to long swipe gesture. Now that is one hand operation plus for you guys. The next important one is home up. This is a brand new home up now on One UI 7. If you're on One UI 6.1 or 6.0 or any other previous versions of One UI, you may not see this new home up. But whenever you get One UI 7, this new home up will be supported. When you enable this, you've got some cool options here. We've got home screen. We have got tons of customization options here. I will not touch upon everything here. Let me just tell you some of the important ones. We've got a do-it-yourself home screen. If you enable this, you will be able to uh, customize your home screen the way you want. You can just press and hold on the home screen. You get this DIY home button, tap on that and uh, you'll be able to move the icons or widget wherever you want. There is no grid restrictions for this customization. You can move it, you can uh, rotate the widget, you can rotate the application, you can uh, resize it. As you can see, I will increase the size of this, uh, this particular icon and I rotate it. And we also have uh, our option to add the stickers here. We can do loads of customizations on a do-it-yourself home screen, which I think you should go ahead and check out. Next, we have got something called Task Changer, using which we can change the way the recent applications look. As you can see, we've got title stack right now. If I change it to grid, it becomes like this. I'll change it to vertical list. This is how it looks. Slim list, this is how it looks. So we can customize the recent app menu. And then we have got something called gesture settings. This is another powerful option that we have. We will be able to customize the animations of the home screen using this gesture settings. We have got this home gesture animation tuning. Just tap on that. We have got some basic options here like classic, elegance, dynamic, sweet, and simple tuning. And if you want to go advanced, you can tap on detailed settings to customize the home screen animations and transitions the way you want it. I have made a separate video about this. I will leave a link for that in the description. I have also made a separate video for good luck application. Again, that link will be there in the description. Go ahead and check out home up. It's a very powerful option that we have. Then we have got some cool customization modules like sound assistant, for example. We have got customize volume panel option. Now here you'll be able to tap on custom option and move your volume panel anywhere you want. And you can do a lot more here. And then uh, we have got this option, make your own volume panel colors. As you can see, we have got something called flex volume UI. When I enable this, and uh, let me show you the uh, volume UI here. You can see the vol volume panel. It looks pretty cool. It's an all new flex UI that we have for the volume panel here. Now let me show you uh, more options here. We've got lighting effect. We have got uh, texture. Control type can be changed to bar or knob. We've got shapes. Uh, and then we've got theme option. You can further customize the theme for volume panel. So this is a customization module that we have for volume panel. I think you should go ahead and check that out. Likewise, we have got something called Keys Cafe and Theme Park, which enables us to customize the themes of your phone. And you can also customize the keyboard on the Galaxy phones. I will leave a link for the dedicated videos of all these modules in the description. Go ahead and check them out. Then we have got something called Lockstar. Again, Lockstar has been integrated into the lock screen now on One UI 7. If you don't have One UI 7, you will have to separately customize the lock screen. As you can see, we've got Lockstar right here when you press and hold on the home screen. This is a customization menu you will see. Tap on lock screen, you can add app widgets, set favorite applications, you can add stickers, you can uh, change the lock screen timeout, and you'll also be able to change the lock icon. All these customization can be done on Lockstar. Then we've got Pentastic. If you have an S Pen on your Galaxy phone, you'll be able to customize your air command menu. And we've got something called floating icon now on One UI 7. You can customize the pointer. You can change the sound for the S Pen. And you can also set a double tap shortcut using Pentastic application. Then we have got clock face using which you can create your own clock faces on the Galaxy phone. If you think the clock faces which are available by default are not enough, you can go ahead and customize your own clock faces on clock face module. Then we have another module called quick star using which you'll be able to customize the quick panel. You can create your own style for your quick panel as you can see. 
and we have got a clock settings. You can enable show date option to see the date on the status bar. You can enable AM PM for the clock. You can also enable show seconds. When you open the quick panel, you'll be able to see the seconds right here on top. So that is something you can do using the quick star module. Likewise, we have got a few more modules on GoodLock application, which you can go ahead and explore yourself. I've already posted multiple videos about GoodLock and I will be posting many more. So stay tuned for detailed videos about all these modules. I've just given you a brief now. There are tons of of more customization features available on GoodLog and many more functionalities which can be added using GoodLog. I will keep posting videos about this so that you learn about GoodLog and how to customize your phone. So a powerful application from Samsung, the most awaited app is now available across the globe. Go ahead, download it. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.